Hi everybody, day six of the 10,000 swing challenge. When I finish today, I'll be at 3,000. And uh, I'll answer questions that come up here on the YouTubes and I'll do my best to, you know, help any way I can. Uh, it's been a strange day here in America. I'm embarrassed. It's funny when uh, people uh, protest against the Vietnam War, the police beat the living hell out of them. Yeah, I'll stop there. It seems to upset people when I point out that kind of thing. So, hey, uh, let's get going. Uh, ooh. Somebody asked me how you warm up. You warm up by doing the swings. Uh, I can't tell you how important it is to keep good records on this. Because you'll never, you'll never remember how many swings you did. It's just too many. So I keep running count. This morning I did a, a hundred presses. Uh, I'm doing 500 swings. I'm not gonna, if you're not going to take questions seriously, I'm not going to answer them either. Uh, keeping track of the 10,000 swing challenge is hard. And it's because you have 10,000 swings. You know, if I give you $10,000 in $1 bills, and then five years later I say, what happened to it? I, I know you'd have a hard time figuring it out. Uh, so I'm glad to see so many people signing up. Thanks for all the comments over there on the YouTube. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm only at 40, so if anyone want to join me, uh, you're early. I had a little technical issue when I first started. And I honestly, I still don't know what it was. I just don't. It was just like the Instagram was angry, angry at me. I don't know who wants to join me live. That happens every day. People want to join me live who I don't know. If I know you, I'd, I'd put you on. But why would you want to be on this video? I don't understand that perfectly. So, uh, so I'm already over one tenth the way there. That's not bad. What 
if any core work to suggest doing a 10K. Hey, Fizzy, think that through. Point to your core. Not point to where swing works. Huh. A properly done swing is one of the best ab exercises you can do. Moreover, I loathe the word core. Not as much as I hate the word cardio, but that's words that uh, soccer moms use at track practice. Famously, when my students were preparing, they were my 400 meter runners. And this mom said, are they doing cardio? You know, uh, just, it's actually warmer today because I'm in the afternoon, late afternoon. So it's a lot, uh, it's a lot nicer. I'm imagining uh, well above freezing. Uh, not much, I mean, I doubt, you know, a four or five in Celsius, uh, maybe 40 here, maybe. Okay, so, did I really get over 100 on it? Oh no, I like, I'm over, I'm over 110. On this set, we'll get over one fifth. I was hoping to do 40s all the way, but you know, reality kicks in. Uh, it's good to have so many people showing up and waving hi. Hi, buddy. Uh, had a good uh, podcast today with a group called KME, uh, Doctors of Physical Training. That'll be up pretty soon. DPTs and me get along well. Uh, Oh, my dog just got here. My mother-in-law won't go in the house. I'll be right back. I apologize. Okay, for the record, no offense to my dog, but I couldn't leave him alone in my house. Uh, bad things happen. This is my dog, Sirius Black. He'll be part of the show the whole time. Do you incorporate... No. Fizzy, you must be new to my podcast here, right? Uh, why don't you ask me about Turkish get-ups and uh, lunges so I can kick the, my phones. Uh, thanks, Michael. Here we go. This, I think, is going to be a good day. Uh, frankly, for those of you who've done the 10,000 swing challenge, or lots of swings, you know, by about day six, you know, the bloom was off the rose. And, uh, hey, Sirius says hi back. Uh, uh, yeah, SFG Fitness. This is like the fourth time you watch this. I swear to God, I've answered this question before for you. Uh, so what I change, 
I just repeat myself every single day. Uh, good, good. Enjoy good whiskey. Uh, in 84, the Olympic Training Center, they taught us about right rhythmic interval training exercise that you should have a kind of a jazzy nature for heart work, you know, so, you know, as good as Tabata stuff is, it's not very jazzy. Uh, wow, guys, uh, that's okay, SFG Fitness, I just, I just answer it every day. And so the idea is to have a real chaotic rep set scheme and rest period. Uh, Samuels, this month, this is your first day here, huh? Yeah, like I said before, this is day six of the 10,000 swing challenge. Should I have a big sign that says 10,000 swing challenge, 50 sw 500 swings a day with a 24 kilo bell for 20 days. And I'm doing a method where we just go up until you get 500 swings. Would that help? Because a lot of these questions are always the same. Ah, don't be sorry. Don't, uh, uh, okay. Let's go. Yeah, so rhythmic. So like, uh, you know, do 35 reps, rest a long time, do 35 reps, rest a short time. Do 15, do 10, do five. It's just, you play around with it, you just don't worry about it. But that's probably the best thing for your head and heart, you know. This idea of steady state cardio, that some people call it zone one or zone two or something like that. And of course, that's all just made up. We have no idea. Uh, it's fine, but it, it doesn't really give you a blast furnace of the body if you're trying to not <laughs> throw shit far, <laughs> not do that. Good, good for grandma. Whew. That's 35. Uh, so every day has its own challenges on the challenge, which is funny to say. Some days your hands feel terrible, some days other stuff. So yeah, Samuels it varies. By the way, I'm trying not to be a jerk when I answer the questions, but this is day six. And I've answered the same ones, you know, every day. Uh, my conversation, though, with these strength coaches and physical therapists, you know, how much of it, how important it is to have a structure. Yeah, it's just, and then we have a structure, you know, you sit back and with someone like myself, a consultant or somebody, you know, somebody who's an outside vision can help walk you through where your gaps are. And uh, so you're gonna start yours tomorrow? Okay. Uh, I don't know what time I'll go tomorrow. I've got some family stuff and life stuff. So I'm trying to, you know, I have to balance career and life and dog and mother-in-law and kids and grandkids, you know. Yeah. I had a lot of conversations today. It was a, it was a fun day, you know. Is this a question before I step over? Good job. Uh, L.W. Mater, or whatever that is, you know. Uh, congratulations. Ella, they used a brain and backed off. You're in Scotland. Oh, God bless you. I love Scotland. Edinburgh, one of my favorite places in the world. Really enjoy that town. Great, great town. City, you know. Went to Rosalind Castle, of course, you know. <laughs> huh. Get a little barking. 
lucky roll back there. Yeah, this is going a lot smoother than most days. Usually I have 50 or 20 interruptions today. Just my mother-in-law and my dogs. That's not bad. Day here, three. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Once again, FG Fitness. There's this thing called the internet. Uh, and you can Google my name and look this up and literally find two articles I've written on T-Nation and probably a dozen forum, different forums discussing it. Yeah, I recommend the 16 or 12 for females. Yeah, and they knock out 25 so I can get to the magic 200. You know, my favorite part of this is when I go up to my website called danjohnuniversity.com and register my daily swing total. It's kind of fun. I'm in seventh place because a lot of people started before January 1st, but I'm an inch up on them because my, my plan is to not take days off. I do like it. You know, I wrote that second article for Teen Nation when I, uh, my daughter was doing the 10,000 swing challenge and I said something like, it's a great program and someone wrote underneath it, you know, something like, you know, it's you know, it's finally you started to get part of the party, and I'm like, yeah, uh, you idiot. Yeah, I invented the damn thing, so, well, invented is a strange word. I'm the idiot who came up with it, and I, that and about 80 other things I regret in my life. Uh, that'd be a fun little conversation to have sometime. I'll get to 25 and that'll get me to 200 and that'll be nice. Good, 200, 200. What's weird about the challenge, it's like being a track and field athlete. When you first run 400 meters, it seems like it's, I mean, it seems like a, it's a journey, you know? You need, but the you know, 20th time you run, it's not so bad. Uh, hey, 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 Jeff. You're right, uh, Hemingway waits. Democracy might die, but we can still swing kettlebells. <laughs> rough day, rough day. Uh, people say, what you do between sets? One good thing is just, you know, kind of hang around for a while. Oh. So, uh, I call that the poor man's chiropractor. Uh, you put all your body weight kind of deep into your butt and then just move your neck and always releases all the tension that I build up my traps. Uh, wait, Jeff, did you do a 400 meters or did you do 400 swings? I like it when people I know come on and say hi. It's nice, it's nice. It's a, you know, it's good. It's nice to be nice to the nice. That's from Mash. Whew. I'll change angles, see if that helps my back.
225, I'm sorry. Wow, that's great. Uh, I missed count. Yeah, that's why it's important to write them down. You probably never remember. Hey, you ran a 400 meters. Good job. Good job, Jeff. Uh, I don't do this to lose weight or fat or anything, but I'm already down six pounds. My friend Mike's me on a podcast. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hi. Hey, uh, I'm I'm on Instagram Live and YouTube Live. So, what's up? You mind if I come over? Please come over. I'll be there in a few. Okay, boy. Hey, sorry about that, folks. Uh, hey, Tim. God, good to hear from you. Yeah, I don't know if you missed it, Tim, but I'm not trying to lose weight on this, but I've already lost the. Uh, I lost six pounds and no dietary change at all. Uh, actually, last night was kind of a dis. <laughs> I ate uh, <laughs> deep fried uh, Reuben egg rolls, and I still lost weight this morning. So maybe this idea of doing exercise might help weight loss. I don't know. All those people say it doesn't, but you know, the scale and the measuring tape—they don't—they don't lie as much as me. Uh, but Tim, good to hear from you, man. Yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Just doing two workouts a day at age 63 and my body weight went down. What do you think it is? Okay, that was me. That was sarcasm. It comes from the root to tear flesh. You know, what a couple more workouts and I'll be halfway through this. Uh, if I could schedule this, I would, you know. But between podcasts and my college work, it's hard. But I'd love to lead a group sometimes, you know, we could. But, like, yeah, Tim, you finally, you finally seem to understand me. Good. This, uh, this is my charm that's knocking that weight off. Oh, it's funny though. I, I watch a little bit of one of the videos and you know, I breathe hard the whole time. And I think it has something to do with the fact that I'm doing 500 swings. Uh, given the double hip replacement, do you still have, <laughs> well, sure, I mean, who's this asking? Craig, yeah, once they, <laughs> once they take your femur and the, as I call the acetabulum and drill it all out. Yeah, you don't have kill. It's and by the way, just so you know, Craig, I don't have. Well, technically it's Celtic hip, but I had pistol grip hips. Okay, so that's a different thing. It's actually worse than the Celtic hip. That's not worse. It just means, you know, you're gonna limp the rest of your life. And I gotta tell you something, man. I mean, I don't want to get all emotional or anything, but. I don't know, man. I, the pain was so great. My friend Mike's coming over here, and he told me about a time we were in Chicago together when uh, I couldn't go from here to that garbage can without having to sit down. And he said my face was streaked with pain all the time. I don't know if I would have kept the, the, this. Uh, I don't know. I'm just thankful for modern medicine. Now, I know that a lot of you don't believe in modern medicine, you know. Uh, like wearing a face mask might help prevent diseases and stuff. But I do. I'm funny about that. Uh, as a person of metal, I, I believe in medicine. Uh, medicine has saved my life three times, four. When I was born, I had pneumonia real bad, which as I aged turned into pleurisy, but 
I've seen my baby, my baby book. I was sick for a year, so yeah, weird about me believing in medicine and science and stuff. I'm sorry. I know it gets against, goes against the grain of many of my fellow Americans now, but you know, I kind of believe in that. And I also believe that exercise is good for you. I'm just one of those guys. And I think you should sleep at night and drink water and eat vegetables. I know, I know, I know, crazy, I know. So we're halfway there, time for the halfway dance. I'm halfway, hey, hey, hey. That was pretty good, that was the best I've ever done that. Like I've said many times, can't tell you the importance of keeping a journal, keeping a diary, whatever you want to call it. Mine go back to 1971, and uh, it's funny, bench pressing 65 pounds, but I can go in and find amazing things. You know, I, I'm in college, and I know that my hip clicks. I didn't know at the time, but that's in 79 or 78. It's probably when I first really injured that uh, the, the hip joint. Didn't even know. My dad has a double hip replacement three years ago. Results similar to yours. It seems I watched you struggle for years, and he's a new man. Chris, give your father my best for me, okay? God bless him, man. Uh, it's It's so much more pain than people think. Crappy thing is, you know, you learn to turn off pain, which isn't something good. Uh, it's just not something you want to do too much. <sighs> okay, so uh, at the set, end of this set, man, we'll be over 300 where the Pat Flynn people's quit on their little challenge. Yeah, the Pat Flynn people, 300 swings a day. Yeah, Dan John people. For those of you in Ireland, Ireland, Kui, for my friends in Turkey, Besh, Go, Cinco. If you're ever a strength coach, you gotta learn how to say five in every language. They're good for you, yes. Chris, you bet, thank you. Uh, Romanowski, uh, no, you missed again. If SFG Fitness is on, SFG Fitness, explain to him what we're doing, okay? Four sets of 25. How would that out? Of course, I was too busy checking out the girls in uh, math class, so maybe you're right. Four times 25 is 500, but I don't know. Seems a little low. Okay. Let's do uh, a lot. So, we're over 300 now, which means we're on the downhill. So if you have questions, ask them sooner than later. Uh, thank you, Samuels. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, now, Samuel, what, 
what concept do I use to vary the reps and rest periods? Okay. And what is it good for? Oh man, I feel good. So someone asked the other day why I don't go barefoot, why I do the 10,000 swing challenge. Well, because I'm in a garage in January in Utah, and if I went barefoot, when I walked away, I'd leave my soles on the ground. So, there you go, Craig. Thank you, brother. Over the day, no, 500. <laughs> You're watching the video live. You're watching the video, Aunt Me. You're watching the video live. I'm doing 500 swings right now. Thank you for crying. You're watching it live. How long do you rest? You're watching it live. How, how many swings are you doing? It's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is my wife. Come on, check this out. Come on in. Hi, sorry, there's my wife on the horn here. I, I'm 2,000. You mean you didn't swing today? But you're gonna. I don't even know what you got. Hi, buddy. Why don't you get warmed up in the wall? You want to move that car back? No, that's no, fine. Okay. No, that's fine. We're gonna work out if you want. I was thinking uh, some loaded carries for you. My friend Mike, Mike Rosenberg. He's the one that really helped me when I was at really the lowest, one of the lower points in my life uh, when I busted my wrist up. He and I uh, invented loaded carries in a sense, didn't we? Kind of? Yeah, something. The modern, the mo what we consider the modern, it's not just as a competition, but as a training device. Uh, so, so I'm sneaking up on, on the downhill, okay? What do you need? Something to carry. Oh, uh, <laughs> why don't you, here. Put on the camouflage vest. All right. And then, uh, why don't you take two laps around the neighborhood with heavy hands with light weights? Heavy hands with light weights? Yeah, two laps. And then that'll be, I'll be, I'm at 310, I got 190 to go, so I'll knock him as fast as I can. Got to coach this young man. He's all the way from Indiana. Came out from Indiana. He comes, he drives out every day to train with me. It's a 1300 mile ride. Yeah, roughly. And so it's a 2,600 mile round trip every day to work out with me. So it's okay if he's a little late. The traffic is bad in Nebraska, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just use the threes, okay? You got it. The small, the bright pink ones. Oh, that's the best. Yeah. downhill now. Oh. Okay. Oh man, Craig, good. What are you talking about here? Should you keep your swing short? Well, I'm bringing it up to the point where I can grab it with my lats. The height should not be any higher then your push-up position, plank position. Here. I know I go a little low, but you know, I'm 63, titanium both hips. It's my second workout of the day. I'm at rep 350, but yeah, you know, give me a break here, okay? What do you got here? Some dog swings. Craig, it's good to have you on board here. I go to the UK a lot, man. So 
Uh, ideally, I'll be there in June and July again. You know, who knows? We don't. We just don't. We're just not. We're just not taking this disease serious enough. You know. And we could have. We could have back in March, huh? But then that would have been. Seventy-five, hundred twenty-five to go. Hi, Mikey. Hi. Pump those arms. Oh yeah. You know, uh, the the only problem with the Harry Potter stuff is it's uh, Time Warner stuff. That's I'm not ripping on it, Craig, but I like the the Edinburgh where the uh, stuff a little better. But I, I would be honored to hang out with you. Probably have my wife with me, or maybe some of my girlfriends, you know, you don't know. Uh, whew. You know, for a day that's freezing, it's got awfully warm in here. In case your house, your heater ever goes off, just do swings. You'll stay plenty warm. Uh, my wife last time, well, a couple times ago, she saw Cursed Child uh, on the West End in London. While I worked, it was kind of actually kind of a fun couple days. It's Jules Guides Guided. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Appreciate that. Thanks for correcting me. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, Samuels. Yeah. So. This, the least important part of the swing is this part here. As long as your butt is tight, your hip flexors are stretching, your, on t your, your rib cage is on top of your pelvis, you're, very, you're fairly vertical, and you yank it down. That's the key. We have an exercise we do in the warm, in the warm it's called front lowers. This isn't going to be perfect. These are stretching bands, so work out fine. But it's, when I catch the bell here, I want to actively throw the bell down. What's funny about that, that's a great ab exercise. <clears throat> ab and butt exercise because they had to counter it. So thanks for chir chirping in there, Samuel. Okay. Uh, let's do some more swings. I am. Uh, okay, this this set will get us to 400, uh, which was my bench when I was a young man. So these will go quickly, I hope. Uh, thanks for watching on YouTube as I finish up. I see, I see how the camera. Okay, you don't have to. Okay, no questions, that's good. Hi, Miguel. Hello, hello. So what we're gonna have you do, I want you to do, grab the two 20s. Okay. 
keeping the vest on, okay? Ooh. I want you to do so double, so farmer walk down to the curb, the corner, and yep. back. Okay. Put one bell down, left hand suitcase carry. Right hand suitcase. Come back. Okay, sound good? Which ones are the 20s? These two? Yeah. All right. Hey, see you guys later. I miss him. So he's doing what we call loaded carries here at the gym. Uh, hey, I, when you guys write hello from, I can always tell where that is. Okay, I can't see him. Irresponsible do this challenge knowing I have an umbilical hernia beginning to bother me uh, a bit more in the past month. Really? Umbilical hernia? Like that surgery there? Huh, okay. Been there, done that. <laughs> uh, thank you, man. That means a lot. Uh, Zach uh, Cicilio. 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 Uh, thank you. Uh, a lot of the young kids don't believe in free will. But then, you know, I had a master's degree at 22 and I was a Division I uh, champion, All American. Uh, a Division I MVP, All American. Yeah. I like the fact that these guys say, I got, I got free will, and they're 31 living in mom's basement. Uh, okay, okay. No such thing as free will, but, you know. So, God's impressed. I appreciate that, brother. Uh, okay. I missed this question here. Okay, I don't know what this one's like. Okay, 100. 100, 100, 100. Let's do this. My dog is just not happy with me at all because uh, he's out here in the cold. He he likes to be in front of the fireplace at mom's feet. He's not a, He forgot his wolf ancestry. And I can't repeat enough the importance of keeping a training journal with your progress, okay, for everything you do in life. Hey, hey Johnny, good to see you back. Hey Pan, good to see you from Greece. Lunchtime canteen question on your food choices at work versus I think you're just messing with me. <laughs> well, you remember what Albert Albert Camus said about Sisyphus? He liked it. <laughs> he liked it. Uh, in fact, uh, it's nice you say that. So inside my house next to our television, uh, I have a, a statue of Sisyphus uh, pushing this. It looks like a shot put, a guy pushing the shot put. It's kind of nice. If I remember, I'll take a picture of it sometimes. Sisyphus is, uh, I said one time in a thing for teachers, it was an article for teachers, that, <laughs> that Sisyphus is a good role model for uh, every year as a teacher. Uh, you always feel like the, <laughs> hey, hi, Junkie, David, David, or whatever. Uh, but the thing you miss as a teacher is that long term, you make such a huge difference, so. It was, it was, I guess that was kind of corny, but I, I thought there was a good point to it because sometimes you feel like as a, as a school teacher, you don't have any positive impact at all. And then one day you're at a bar and some kid comes over and says, hey man, you changed my life. So, you know, 
Thank you, Callum. Yeah, it's, and it's the first chapter, isn't it? It's the first chapter, right? I think. I never read my own work, so you'd have to. <laughs> I see if I can knock out another set, get us over that 450 hump, and then land this plane. Oh, same issue we have every day out here. The cold just eats up my battery power, folks, and I'm sorry. Uh, the cold eats up my battery power, okay? Uh, Johnny, uh, you need to uh, pay attention to what I talk about. Would somebody explain to Johnny about the rest periods? If no one explains it to you, I'll repeat myself. As I have every single day of the challenge, repetition is the mother of implementation. And like Brian reminds me, it's the first time to you. Hey, how was that? Lovely. Okay, I'm, oops, sorry. I want to ask you to do some hangs. Um, tell you what, I only got like a bit to go. Do you yeah, want just go ahead. Why don't you uh, take another lap? with that and then take that vest off and we'll be done with that loads, okay? All right. If you ever get a chance to coach and swing at the same time, yeah. You can see how confusing it can get. Almost finished. So, because I like it, John, I'll explain it. Unless somebody else did. Right. So, it's based on Something I learned at the Olympic Training Center in 1984, Rhythmatic Interval Training Exercise, RIT, where it's better for your cardiovascular system to have a real chaotic uh, workout. So long rest periods, short rest periods, lots of intensity, real light, just mix and match. Steady state is probably, eh, it's fine for what it does, but it's not a good way to train the heart. From what I understand, nor is it a good way to lose fat. But if you do, the body loves chaos. The, lo the body loves complexity. Uh, the best way to keep, you know, from what we know, to keep Alzheimer's at bay, you know, play chess, play word games, you know, uh, go for a walk on uneven surfaces, that kind of thing. Yeah. I have lost battles sometimes, Samuel, uh, doing this challenge, trying to trying to get to a number. Uh, maybe only once or twice. Uh, uh, well, not necessarily lost it. One time, I think I almost pulled a muscle because I tried to fight one more rep and I got weird. Uh, like a like I didn't pull a muscle muscle, but like whatever the from the ring finger in, whatever that vat is right there, I, I heard. So it's not worth it to fight for two more reps when you're doing 10,000 swings. Ah, this damn thing. Hey, Instagram friends, we're going to lose you in just a few minutes, okay? Um, sorry, okay? Sorry, Instagram friends. It's just, it's been a long day. I should have, I should have rebooted my, when I come out here, my battery drops, and then this eats up a lot of power. So I'll go fast. Because my battery's going, I'll finish this one half as fast as I can. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. YouTube friends, thanks for all your support and help. Instagram friends, those of you 
who helped me answer some questions. I, I appreciate this more than you know. I'll finish the set of 15, I'll shut down, and I'll coach. Shut down physically, not emotionally. And then I'll help Mike. Bye. Same back channel. I'm sponsored by the Whiskey Drinkers Association of the world. I keep them all in business. Hey, love you guys. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye from the UK. Bye-bye.